Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the More Freedom Game Studios here in the Mad Game Tycoon 2. Well, I was just letting her run here for a second, and I saw this popped up. So might as well, you know, get going. Uh, the Game Pass has been unlocked. We can now create a Game Pass. Game Pass is a service to offer users a catalog of games for a monthly base price. So, excuse me, they probably could do that at one point. So let's go back over what we got going on. Terrors in the Night is about 33% done. Um, most of the other stuff is just coming right along. So, uh, the More Freedom series 2006 is actually, except for the graphics part right here, is completely done. We're going to get the trumpet tank over here. We're going to cancel that, and we're going to support the rusty trombone over there. Uh, processing tank is done with their work. They were working on updating an engine, I do believe. Uh, let's get over here. Gameplay features procedurally created world. Let's get that going. Let's check in on our also thinkers. They are done. Let's get our hardware. So we need to figure out what we need to do. Because remember, we're going to develop a console. So stationary console... Uh, we need, we have everything. We have everything. Let's make sure that we don't have, let's check in here. Console, console features. Uh, we'll do that in just a second, but let's check in on our hardware is what we want to do. And we need, I want to get... Let's get the case for stationary console going. We'll start that off right now. That's going to take a hot minute to complete, but for the most part, we're almost done here with being able to build that. So let's check in. Let's go, go develop a console. Um... So we can make it look how basically however we want. So we could say it looks like that, or we can say it looks like that. And we need to do, probably need to do a, um, probably need to do some controllers. And no backwards compatibility console can be connected to the internet so mm -hmm. we'll have to work on all of this so I think we'll get the late the latest one of those going and then we will add in the last two console features so that'll be what we do next as far as the console goes and let's say the word console even more times so the marker snippers are all halfway done with their stuff for the World Freedom Series 2003. Let's go with the large booth. Uh, Cowboys of the West. More Freedom Series 2006. And Terrors in the Night. Mm -hmm. Nice. Actually, most of the people that came came to our booth. So that's lovely. Uh, this is Cowboys of the West is down to 16th in the charts. It's actually almost done. It was a quick one. It just, it was done. Not even a year out. So 764. Let's check in on our stock because, yeah, we got about 41,000 in stock left. We'll probably just ship all of that stuff off in, in a few minutes. But, okay, that is done. Let's get... get them going on commission work and we're not going to worry about let's get special marketing for more freedom series 2006 let's release a beta so they're done on this guy 
Go supporting here. They're done here. So let's cancel this task. And let's um, support. Actually, they're all done. They're all done. Like, this is all done. Because... All right. We received many positive comments for the beta. All right. Well, hopefully it's better than it was before. So we're going to cancel this guy, too. Let's do a release for the press then. Special marketing, pre-release for the press. Let's get that going. And can I change the name of this? Um, rename room. Development report. Can I change this to 2005? Yeah, we're going to change that to 2005. Because once this is done, we're going to we're going to ship it. We're going to, you know, get her out of here. It's almost done. We could check to see if we have any graphics design folks. Yeah, hire you. Get in there. Uh, we need four more. You. Get in there. You. Get in there. Okay, so we need two more there. And it's done. It is done. So let's do this. Let's um, finish development. And we're going to shelf distribution. Mm -hmm. And let's see. We're going to say 9, 10. So that's 8... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 weeks. How far can we go? Let's go 12 weeks. Mm -hmm. Come on, baby. Let's get a good score. Oh, my gosh. 97. Sheesh. I think that's the best, highest score we've ever had in a, in a thing. And let's put these guys over here. Oh, we need a... Do we have any other programmers? We do. Well, you get in there, too. Let's put them on support of the drunk tank. And get them on support of the brush liquors. And get them back on a support of these guys. So we'll squash all the bugs. And oh, let's get over here. Gameplay features, multiplayer matchmaking. Let's get that going. They're working. Um, let's go special marketing for Terrors in the Night. Let's release a beta for that guy. And Cowboys of the West is almost done. It's at 791. A little bit of hype, I think, from the More Freedom series coming out in nine weeks. Um, might be why we have a little bit more hype here. And why things why it's still selling. I mean, we're at 21 million, so we've made quite a bit of money off of it. Terrors in the night plus two. Hell yeah, brother. Special marketing, pre-release for the press. I think 
we're doing okay here with everything. Okay, let's see if we have any... We're filled up plus 3% for Terrors in the Night. Nice. Uh, we need two more graphics designers. Let's see if we have any of them. We have one, so let's grab them and get them in there. And DevOps people, so we need... Um, what was it? Hardware and engineering. We got one technician, so let's get them hired. And I think that's like all of it. This is done. Okay, well, they're done. Cancel that. They're done. Cancel that. Cancel that. They are helping them, so we'll leave them help real fast. And station case for stationary console is almost done. I just want to get all the latest stuff, you know what I mean? I want to get all the latest stuff in there. Uh, hardware. And let's make go by technology level. Two core CPU. What do we have right? We're going to check to see what we have right now. What is this? Graphics chip. So that's April. And this was April. So let's go with the two core CPU. I mean, we might as well go with. Um, the level six stuff since we're here, right? Since we're already at level six, let's get the modern controller support going, though. And over here, I think we're good on the console features. Let's get all of them going. And five weeks until the new More Freedom series comes out. So yeah, five weeks for the new Freedom series. Hopefully it is a lot better than the previous versions. So, all right, controller support's going. This is almost done. They are almost done on Terrors in the Night. If we could get Terrors in the Night out as well before the end of this year, into the Christmas gifting window. Uh, continue development real fast because I want to see what we have. Continue development. Uh, let's pause, make sure that we've got everything. So we are good there. We can, we're can. we going to cancel this task. We're going to cancel this task. This is done, so we can cancel that task. Can cancel support and cancel support. So I think it is done. Let's get it going. We're gonna get it out before the end of the year. So we wanna get it out in a finished development and self-distribution. And we're actually gonna go with three weeks. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it's a hit, but gameplay was down, so we're going to have to work on that. So let's get these guys going with a create game report for both. We're going to create a game report for, I don't know what Blue Mind is. Is this mine? Oh, it was a contract game. <sighs> Release date. Terrors in the Night. We're going to get them going on that. And we're going to get them going on... Create a game report for or Freedom Series 2005. And then they're going to do a game report for Oh, I thought we had a Cowboys of the West Mart may or, oh, already has one. Okay. So we got three weeks here, two weeks here, three weeks here. And we got 21,000 orders, and we have 200 
We have 300,000 orders for the More Freedom Series 2005. 300,000 orders. Oh my gosh, that is insane. And it is out. I think it's already number one in the charts. We have 326,000 orders in week number one. And it, or another 121,000 this week. Talk about the hype, bro. So we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to minimize Terrors of the West here. Or Cowboys of the West. Are they just not producing stock? Okay, so one, we need to pause here. So we need to... Um, we need, we're going to do this. Uh, wait, no, we're going to do this. And we're going to copy this room. And can we, could a guy just slap it in there? And rename more, oops, more pro producers of freedom. Um, producer of freedom two. No. <laughs> We're just going, we're going with the same name. So let's get automatic production going. And we're, we actually need to cancel this task and we need to get produce game. We need to do some terrors in the night. We're going to do a um, hundred thousand, ten and 10 right now. And just hit the check. So then it gives us some terrors in the night because we were out because there are 187 okay we're going to hit the end here 187,000 orders for terrors in the night and 112,000 orders for the more freedom series the more to freedom series in two weeks has already made its money back. That's a big change from the Morse Freedom Series 2003, which sold 149,000 total. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove a game from the market. We're actually going to remove that from the market because we only made 4 million in however long it took us to get there. So... Yeah, let's go ahead and hit play here and then let's get them working on automatic production and best graphics, best soundtrack, publisher of the year. Oh, that's a big collapse right there. We've never gotten publisher of the year. All oh, oh, I was hoping for developer of the year, but we got publisher of the year and game of the year. Um, so that is amazing. And the terrors of the night wasn't, it wasn't even one of them that we got. That's insane. So it is so crazy. We've sold 1.3 million of the more freedom series, 2005 in comparison for Cowboys of the West, who's what's been out for 51 weeks. It sold 1.5 and in three weeks, this has done 1.1. So I am super pleased about that. And like this, we need to cancel this task and we need to produce game and we need to get terrors in the night. I'm going to do the same thing. And then we're going to do automatic production. We're going to try to get, I'm going to get some out and then I'm going to make it do more. <laughs> So we're going to do, actually, can we, is there, okay, all objects are up to date. Okay, so what we're going to do is go back to producing this game, Terrors in the Night, and we're going to do um, 
300,000 and we're going to do 50. Oh, we can just do this 50,000 here and 50,000 here. We'll say we're going to do that. So then, cause it is literally, we're getting the orders, but we aren't fulfilling them because we don't have enough because the more freedom series is doing so many orders that it's insane. So the wild craziness of this whole thing and I had to pause there for a second. Wild craziness of this whole thing is, is that, um, we, we almost can't do enough of everything at this point. And I think we're going like, it's doing another million on the more freedom series. So we're going to have to cancel this task and we're going to have to produce more of terrors in the night and i'm i'm going up to 500,000 on it and this one we're we're going to we're going to get rid of these because we have you know a lot of them so we're going up to 500,000 on terrors in the night like the the insanity of we just hit like the big time on <laughs> all of that is craziness and you can now equip your offices with the latest generation i'm i'm dumbfounded like it's good it's like my job now is just to watch the production queue and we haven't even got to the point where we <laughs> we need to start developing another game so um Let's go ahead and before we get into anything else here, let's start developing another game. So let's get the DevOps tank over here going. So we're going to develop a game. Actually, let's check in on our engine. Uh, this is this is fine. I think we're on the latest stuff for the engine. So we're going to develop a game. And let's get new PC and console game. So... Who's our best? Let's uh let's get Oh no. That's our best one right there. Our best game designer. Faux show. Let's get that going. Standard game. Oh. What are we? 2005. We could do an MMO. Uh huh. Or we could do a free to play. Hmm. We could try our hand at an MMO again. I think we're going standard game right now. We're going to stay away from the MMOs for right now. And then we'll see our genre. We don't do much of any. We've done a lot of the same stuff. So let's go with an economic simulation or a simulation. Let's get away from that. Let's go to a survival game. Let's go survival. Survival adventure game. Oh, no, because we're going to have a lot of violence. There'll be a lot of violence in this. Um, Real-time strategy. Yeah, survival, real-time strategy. Um, do we want a place? Do we want a place in time? Survival, survival, survival. So we're looking at something that would be a survival thing. Oh, let's do erotica. I'm just kidding. We could do elves. Ooh, elves and dwarves. Elves and dwarves. No license. So let's think of a good name here. Um, hmm. 
man, we're going to think of a good name. But we're going to say main platform is going to be the personal computer. The Macintosh. And the Y box. Let's check. Yeah, because we're only in tech five. And the this guy. So all online. Mm -hmm. Give me all of that. Give me all of that. So survival. Building a safe base. Building a base. Um, level design. Give me two on that. One here. Minus one there. Go down there. Go one up on the... So we're going to say core gamers. Leave it in the middle. And base building. So gameplay is up. Graphics is up. This is down. Actually, we'll go down on that. And then up. Maybe down two on sound. And then up one here. Uh-huh. All right. So we can have achievements. Looking through some of the stuff that we need. I hate cutscenes like everybody else in the world. Flight stick support can go away. In-app purchases are a thing. Force feedback, interactive story, keyboard support, level editor, local high scores, mod support, morale mechanics, mouse, multiplayer matchmaker. Yeah, we definitely went th that because it's a short one, so we need to have additional things. Uh, password saves can go away. Quick time events. Nope. They can piss off. That can go. And we need to get rid of one more. Touch screen support can go away. Okay. So then we can say those two things. And maybe special game characters. All right. Elves versus dwarves. All right. Mm -hmm. And I think... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's go. All right. All right. Now we need to get them on high-quality graphics for elves versus dwarves. Get them on sounds for elves versus dwarves. Yeah, I'm sure they're complaining that it's too cold. And enable all of that. Give me all of that. And get them on bug fixing over here already. So family share is almost done. Modern graphic, modern controller is almost done. We're going with a level six on everything. And I think that'll be what we go with for our console. Um, let's also get them on... For the love of Pete, um, automatic production. Hopefully we have enough. And I mean, let's just point out the fact that the More Freedom Series 2005 has made three, has done three million on its sales in nine weeks. 
and Cowboys of the West is somehow still hanging out here. I don't know how. So I'm very pleased with all of that. As we see, we're adding another 1.2 million to the More Freedom Series 2005. Actually, we're adding another 2 million. So let's cancel this task and uh, produce game Cowboys of the West. Uh, yeah. And what do we have for these? Probably need to do another 50,000 of those. So we are, I am just, I'm, I'm literally dumbfounded with all of that. Uh, okay. So they're done with that. So let's get the hardware again. And we're going to go with the 25 gig Blu-ray. So that's going to get going. Um, let's start them on. Hmm. We could do update. I don't want to do updates and add-ons, but we, we're going to develop another game. And we're going to start the uh, sequel to Cowboys of the West. Oh, we need to check our... Oh, no, no, no. We should be good. Uh, develop a game sequel to Cowboys of the West, computer and game console. Mm -hmm. Cowboys of the West 2. And again, that's going to be on the PC, the Macintosh, all the usual suspects. Um, give me all of that. And this is where we're going to make some changes. So game depth will come down one. Up here, up here, up, down, down, up. Maybe down one here, down one there. And I'm going to come down like this and then come up like, I actually going to move that towards the middle like that. I think that's what we're going to go with all the same things. Oh, we want to do that and we will drop mini games and cosmetic items. So we're going to give cosmetic items. All right, let's get them on high quality sounds for Cowboys of the West. Marketing has been for streamers have been unlocked. Did they really have streamers in 2005? Was that a thing back then? I don't think so. I, I mean, I could be wrong. Uh, we're going to get them on bug fixing on Cowboys. Actually, we're going to start. I guess it doesn't matter because that'll be fine. Um, they're doing all of that. So they are cranking all. Oh, no. Well, that's terrible. That's okay. We'll get it figured out. Okay. Cancel this task. Let's get into the think tank and let's do uh, engine features. Let's get that going. Um... Terrors in the Night is produce game. My goodness. Terrors in the Night. Insanity, man. Insanity about what it, what is happening. We've done... Almost 5 million on the More Freedom series. Okay. We need to readjust our... <laughs> We're going to have to redo some of this stuff. Can we upgrade this? Is there anything else? Yes. Um, upgrade this guy. Yes. See if we can get him going faster. Bigger, faster, stronger. Bigger, faster, stronger.
again, doing another million on the More Freedom series. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. Um, let's go ahead and we'll do that here. We'll, we'll kind of upgrade some of these some of these things, like upgrade this guy. Oh look, I got flat screens now. Okay, all of that's going, this is going, and the gigabyte is going. Let's see if our console, let's see if we have any hardware and engineering. We don't, we're good on this one. We need one on the marker sniffers. So let's see if we have any graphics design people. We do. Get in there. We're good there. We're good there. We're good there. I think we're good on... Oh, my goodness. I mean, it's doing another 600,000. And that's insane. Uh, terrors in the night. Oh, my goodness. No more storage available. Um... Okay, we got this. Stock room. Do we want to do all of that? We're going to do all of that. And, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Can I? I don't want to sell the stock. If I delete the, we're not going to delete the room. So not what we're going to do. All right. Well, our more freedom. Oh yeah, get per automatic production. Let's go. More Freedom Series is just consuming all of our resources because it's done six million, six million. I like I can't, I, you know, that's one of those things where you can't even keep up with it. That's how crazy this has been. Uh, miscellaneous. What do we got? Uh, we don't want those. Um, hardware. Let's get them on this this guy right here. And they're not quite done with that. So we're going to get all of those done. And I don't think that's enough room for me to slap another one of these in here. So I don't think so. Let's see if I can copy this room. Can I put one in over here? I can't. That's too bad. That's too bad. We almost need to move the think tank to somewhere else, redesign that room and move it to somewhere else. And yeah, so I am pleasantly happy with everything that is happening right now with our our stuff and the More Freedom series 2005 has beyond my wildest expectations has done so many and somehow the Cowboys of the West is just hung on. And I think that's due to this, this these things. Um, I'm going to get a marketing campaign going for Terrors of the Night. And probably one after that for the More Freedom series. Not that I think it needs it, but, you know, why not, right? So there we go. Cowboys in the West 2, plus 13 on something. So anyway, that's going to do it for this episode of the More Freedom Game Studios. Come back next time where we're probably going to get all of this stuff out too. So appreciate you coming. Appreciate you hanging out. We'll probably work on More Freedom Series 2006. And until then, take care.